Okay. So welcome to the Thursday edition, or not Thursday, Wednesday edition of Performance Seminar. I'm not sure what day it is. Um, we have two performers today, and um, our first performer is going to be Chloe, who's going to announce her name, and um, the piece she'll be playing for us. Can you go ahead. Um, hello, my name is Chloe, and I'm going to be performing Dreamland by Alexis French. Chloe Lake forming um, Dreamland by Alexis French. So I am going to start the poll. And then um, if you guys have any verbal feedback to give, um, you guys can go ahead and raise your hands. So you guys should be able to see the poll now. So you can fill that out. Mm 
right, so the four results are coming in. Does anyone have any verbal feedback to give? Yes, no, before I start calling on people. No, Kilo says no. Okay. Um, how about um, Vivian? Um, you've got to see most of it. So um, if you have any feedback to give. Oh. I don't know if you got a chance. Uh, sorry, Dal. It's okay. Um, sorry, that was my dad. Um, I think you played very well with the dynamic and articulation. This is a waltz, so maybe like emphasize the first note of the left hand uh, every measure, and then uh, I think your phrasing is also pretty good, but maybe have a bit more like um interesting stuff in it because it's kind of repetitive and your body movement is pretty good. Okay, thank you for that. Okay, cool. Um, we only have one person, oh, okay, we now have two people. So um, we have one last person who hasn't filled out the poll yet. So I'll give you another 10 seconds to do that. Um, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so I'm gonna wrap up. In three, two, okay. So taking a look at the poll, and let me share the results with you. Um, so take a look at the poll. Um, in terms of the dynamics, you got a four, two votes for four. Um, yeah, I think the dynamics are pretty okay. Um, there was a good dynamic range, and you kind of stayed within um, the area of the dynamics for the piece. Um, I think you could go softer. Potentially, I think just like a little bit as a small note. Um, I think it was kind of mezzo, it was definitely like mezzo piano, maybe kind of pushing a little bit of a mezzo forte. So I think maybe going a little bit of softer um, in some sections um, will really add to the dynamic appeal to it. And then, as we've been mentioned, adding a little bit of variation within it um, would be really nice. Um, articulation, you got two votes for four as well. Um, articulation was pretty good. I don't really have too many notes on that. Um, I think there was there wasn't any issues with that. Um, the only thing I would say um, that kind of took away from that, um, and this doesn't really necessarily go into articulation, was kind of over pedaling. So I'd say um, be very careful with the pedal because the articulation was good, but then um, the pedal kind of made everything kind of very muddy. So I'm um, just making sure that you're aware of when it um, starts to become a little unclear with the pedal, and um, as generally with the chord changes, um, to make sure to change the pedal throughout. Um, balance, you got two votes for four. Um, and yeah, balance was pretty good for the most part, but um, I do have to say in the sections where it was like a waltz pattern, um, where it was like bass note, chord, chord, um, it did feel a little bit heavy at times. So I think just being very careful of um, how your left hand volume goes um, relative to the right hand, but overall, um, for the most part, it was pretty good. Um, phrasing was um, two votes for four as well. So um, I'd say that was pretty good. I didn't hear too many issues in terms of the phrasing. And the last part, movement, you got one vote for three and one vote for four. So um, I didn't really watch movement too much, but um, I think it was pretty good from what I watched so far. Um, and I think that's all the notes that I have. So yeah, good job on that.